by this time it's definitely January 11th, right? It is. Okay. Definitely. I just know that it's a day that ends in Y that has the potential to be, I don't know, possibly amazing. <laughs> okay. Let's look what we've got here. Oh, wrong screen. My work handle. Okay. Over here. This is cubanzoos.net. So here I found this just on an 1893 Chicago hit. And that's one of the exhibitions in the Chicago Fair. Because I'm looking for an exhibition list. I'm looking for something. You know exactly what I'm looking for. I'm not there yet. So uh, I'm looking for a citation about a canal. But I'm, I'm sort of trying to, I'm, you know, I'm having to dig a ditch. <laughs> See what I did there with the canal and the ditch? <laughs> So, <laughs> so, the Esquimos. Is that how you spell Eskimo? That would be a <laughs> French way of spelling it. I don't know. It's not a French article. Uh, it's inside the 57th Street entrance. You know, it's over there. 25 cents to get in. And, uh, hey, you get to all parts of the village. So, they built a village, and the prince showed up. So, do you? what do you do with a captured prince? Do you put him in the zoo? <coughs> You charge people to come and see him. Oh, you can see men, you can see women, children, and babies in their family life. Also, the men in their curious kayaks on the water, driving their dogs, the reindeer, the sealskin tents, the snow house, cometic Eskimo graves, etc. <laughs> Apparently, there's more than that. Prince Pomuk. What do you, you capture a prince and then you show him, right? I've got some Eskimos in their summer home. How big is the place that all of this? This must be what was out on Tree Island. <laughs> Remember the middle wow. of the area that we saw that, that island out in the middle? Yep. Here's some more Eskimos. Uh, template 7881, no, no copyright, 1893, yep, this is for the 93 World's Fair, hey man, they look really happy to be there, don't they, it's, that's some cheery, sunshiny faces, and that grin is ear to ear. <laughs> because they learned how to be awesome on purpose. <laughs> I don't, I think that. I think that she's like, look, if you if you come be closer to me, I'm gonna tear that thing out here and beat the hell out of you. <laughs> <laughs> she, 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 she does not look happy. Nor does her sister, or is that the same woman? Not <laughs> the same person. She is a Samoan maiden in the Colombian exposition on the Midway Plaisance. Okay, here we go. Here's some Eskimo homes. Yeah, just pick them up, move them. This place is big. Oh, oh, this is not there at the fair. This is pictures that were on exhibition at the fair. Okay, okay, I'm an idiot. Okay, so, so what we're seeing here is the construction of how the Eskimos lived in these Eskimo villages. Yeah, this is an 1893 copyright. Yep. Yeah. So this is an Eskimo village, quote unquote. This looks more like a town, doesn't it? Look at the pictures in the back. This is another picture of a good old house. That's sort of interesting. Oh, that's a totem pole. Wow. Look at the height. Yeah. Here we go. Looks like a come town day. Get your sandwich over here at Raphael and Benny Acaba. We're on Raphael Street, I would guess. Is that well that though that's his cousin's shop right there. So everybody's got a headdress. Everybody got a hat, except for this guy up here. He must be the one running the, the January 6th insurrection at the time. 
<laughs> well, there's a whole bunch of them with hats under the sidewalk. <laughs> you can see their hat. They're on the side. Yeah. Is that morning? Yep. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here's some Eskimo nests. Oh, I see. I, I don't know if I can do this. Let's go to the middle one there. This is the Lapland family in their dwelling. So this is the Laplands. These people look more like migratory Russians than they do quote unquote Alaskans, right? These guys over on the left. This is a group of singing Fijians. Got your singing Fijians? Come get your singing Fijians. Uh, there are a number of the islands in the Indian archipelago. Yep, that's, those are Fijians. And then you got these people in the middle. That's the whole clan, including the dog. Got to get the dog in there. And uh, and this is King Bull, chief of the Laplanders over here. Let's look at him for a second. Which one? Oh, oh, I'm glad I did. Well, I'm not. I think he'd be the guy back here. This dog is much better kept. Um, King Bull, chief of the Laplanders. The Laplanders. Yeah. The Lapland Village is a private. I can't do it. Uh, the stuff that's not uppercase is just too too small. These are dwellers near the pyramids. The pyramids. Where are we? I thought we were in Eskimo land. Are there supposed to be pyramids? Oh, here's some here's some hot babes. And these people look to be from India. This is the Asiatic and African types. These are types. They're painting their Tartarians. It is wow. in, it is in a real something of some difficulty at present to define exactly what constitutes an Asiatic type. So this is an Asiatic type. They're saying the Indians because you know they haven't tucked into a round earth yet. Okay, here's a that's a Bedouin sword. These are definitely it's a Middle Eastern sword, or we've been told. This is um oh yeah, Arabs. So, the, this is uh, something Arab. The baby Arab? Oh, the, is there, oh there's a, uh, a papoose inside right here. That's the baby, I guess. This guy, um, I don't know what's in this hookah, but, but he doesn't look very concerned. So, I think it's probably the big sword in his hand. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's, he's uh, pretty much saying, come at me. What's this guy over here? This is an Arab. And he is on a desert steed. Wow. That girl, that girl could be in Haight Ashbury in 1968. Um, this is a oh, it's a Tartar bow and a Polynesian bell. So you got your Tartarian right there, baby. Mm-hmm. Now, look at the sword. The Tartarian has, and look at the sword that the Syrian has. That's a common culture. Tell a culture, by the way, they keep their prisoners and the way they execute their criminals. Swords are the weapon of the time. That is a common. Even the hilt is the same. It's got the same curved down hand hilt. Yep. So. We got some other female types in the east over here. Get your female types in the east. Maybe these were this was the the uh no, I'm not gonna go there. Okay, so here's some islanders of the Indian Ocean over on the right. Looking uh looking pretty happy. Very namaste. And then you've got some female types from the east. Those so, so how how do I get these two female types from the east? That could not be more different. Amazing. I mean, I, I would say this is a replaced. This is a, a an American an American Tartarian. Remember, they were black, and they and she has been replaced into the East. Remember, the slave trade went from west to east. Right. You got some. Uh, you got some visitors from the Holy Land. I mean, this could this could be a. Uh, a, 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 an Instagram filter. <laughs> These people do not look 200 years back, according to the 
history that we're told that doesn't fit in my frame. <laughs> okay, let's keep moving. This is my first tab. It's going to take forever. <laughs> Obviously, a warring. No one's without a sword. I mean, it's like um, I don't know. Maybe they're trying to get wiped out. And okay, this is two representatives of the Sioux Nation. And over here on the down bottom left, you've got a South Sea Island bungalow. So next to the Sioux Indians of the South Sea Island, did, did they just alphabetize the, the, the first objective of the sentence? Come on. <laughs> Those are this one of these is supposed to be in the Americas. And the other one is supposed to be on a South Sea Island. Those, those are not adjacent. <laughs> wow. At least not the maps that we've seen. Okay, here we go. These are, once again, I'm on the same human zoo. These are supposed to be postcards. So the game is, well, look at those blow up. Yay. Can I get one more? Give me one more. Nope. You get is that a date on the bottom? It says 1589. That's not supposed to be in the 1500s, is it? Okay, over on the side, we've got um, their life scene gun. So, this is a hall of wild beasts. Come to your hall of wild beasts. Obviously, it's all been conquered because they're on display. Look at this guy back here. Is he part of the movie? So these are apparently postcards from the zoo. Can't do it. Okay, so this is a hippodrome. So this is going to be the big large inside amphitheater that's right behind here. That's the amphitheater. Beat my head if you see uh, about there. This is a, a shoot or something that's over here. That's a gun. To, this is a shooting gallery. Yep, scenes from the fair. Same today. Oh, here's the thoroughfare. Now that looks something that might be like might be temporary. That looks like it's right. a, a big tent. Okay, that's not the temporary. Yeah, I got your fat lady. I got your strong wrestling guy. I got a guy literally in the air selling balloons. I don't think he would do that as a, I don't know, maybe there's people flying all over the place, but look, everybody's still got a hat. <laughs> White hat, black hat, blue hat, paisley hat. What are we seeing here? I don't know. 1904. It's the hamburger dome. I will gladly pay you on Tuesday for a hamburger today. So uh, it's. Voga Weiss? Is that German? No, you know, we're German. It's definitely German. It's German, Austrian, yeah. maybe, maybe Hungarian. But I'm, I'm guessing primary Austrian, Germanic. Absolutely. Yep. Come see our trap people. Look at the prisoners we brought home. Absolutely German. So, yeah, this is probably in Berlin. You know, there's debauchery in Berlin goes back a long way. Uh, we've got another thoroughfare. I wonder whether or not these were like real guns. They just didn't give a shit. I don't think there was any OSHA back then. <laughs> <laughs> a clown in front, clown representing these dark faces because we enslaved them and killed them and took them away. Hey, look at my guy I brought back. And this is a, a, a diminutive, diminutive, it's a lessening of a people by representation. This is, hey, I went to the big expensive place to the zoo and here's what I found. I found a repressed people. No, look, oh, you, this is, this is a Sambo. Of from Samoa. Black men, men of wild, fresh men, men, wild men. Yeah, it's like it's 20, yeah, 
whatever piafs are, I don't know, I can't, like 20 pence of some sort. And, and oh, look, we got a guy in chains dancing was being taunted by a white girl and a white rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Only the deep truthers are going to get that one. Uh, once again, the guys in the in the dark suits here. This is another uh, another set of representations. What is going on here? Oh, this is that thing that spins around and you got to stay on it. They still have those. Oh, that's a, I've been in one of these. This is the twirly thing. I'm big enough that I can actually get in these and put my hands and feet up and go all the way around. Uh, <laughs> very rarely bigger than my complete wingspan. And I got a giraffe and a wild boar porcupine. And I got some fighting guys. I bet you they even bet on them. Oh, looks like they're fighting here too. I bet you they bet on it and one of them didn't make it out. Well, I'm betting. Uh, yep, here's a hawker on the Broadway. And it looks to be a cacophony of action. A veritable corpocopia of possible options of mayhem. Lions and tigers and bears. Oh, my. Oh, my. And, yep, <laughs> there's some beer. Got your beer, got your beer. They would call this Rubenesque at a later date. Size of the women. The way they're represented. Oh, we're back to the here. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, we did that. What's, what is this? Yeah. I don't know that I want to go to the zoo. It looks like it's, I got a, a rabbit man who, who hulks and skulks. I've got monkeys attacking people with handlebar mustaches. What is happening here? Okay. It can't have to once. So they had board games about the events themselves. This is a programming technique. Name the thing and match it up so you know where you're going to go. Hey, Salvage. Did you notice that message? Went along with the maps we used to have. Oh, yeah, that's right. It does look Mardi Gras, does it not? So, yep. um, yeah, and the Mardi Gras is the festival. Okay. So, uh, this was uh, exotic performers that you might find at these festivals. And by exotic, we mean captured, I assume. Look at this common set. Oh, it's her, probably. This is the uh, this is the family. They're like a traveling troop, so they're they're looking very gypsy to me. Uh, yeah. Yeah, this is in Zurich. This is the museum. Uh, is automatic. So this is yep, middle of Switzerland. Looks like you can come and see all sorts of stuff. And here she is. I think this is a little burlesque almost, isn't it? I don't know. This guy, man, twirling plates upside down, backwards contortionist. We got people stacking and throwing. We got this guy here who's a plate player, plate, apparently plate spinning. These are the Cock Cam Thai Chinese troop. They look to be a family of table spinning maniacs. Or a plate spinning maniacs, I'm sorry. Oh, and then, you know, you got the little contortionist girl. You know, this bleeds of, uh, of trafficking. Dolly is her name. Oh, man, you can't get away from it. Bastards, bastards. Okay, what is this? Now, oh, staying in the mode of circusness. Barnum and Bailey's. Barnum, what do we got here? We got we got your basic werewolf guy. He's looking pretty werewolfy to me. 1800 in Berlin. So that's right about when the World's Fairs are going on to you, right? Yep. My, my German is not nearly good enough to even fake it. So I, like, okay, bearded guy. Uh, miniature woman. Oh, that's sort of interesting. Damn it. I can't translate. He's the size of a doll, but oh. are they giants? I don't know. <laughs> 
These are the things of wonder, the bunch of wonder, the wonder of, I can't get the, the verb, I can't remember my conjugation in German. <laughs> um, you got some Oguri Kiba, that's the lunch special. And you got the Miss Delphi over here helping clean your plate up. These are people who are from California. <laughs> wow. Miss Delphi, Miss Delphi looks like she's just expecting to get her ass kicked any second. So you got this big guy right here. I don't know what he does, but I'm thinking he might be a giant. John McDonald. Check it out. Even in those days, McDonald's wasn't good. <laughs> <laughs> McDonald had a farm. And he ate everything. <laughs> uh oh this looks like a life that so there's one of these guys there's a guy in a movie he moved out what was that in the 90s it was a Christian movie it was a tale of this guy who was a real guy born with like no arms and no legs kind of thing and he functions and swims and oh yeah it was very so very much the same so just interesting that there are multiple ones of those, and they survived anyway. What goes up there? What else we got? I don't know. What, what do you think Andy Howard's deal is? Who? The Andy Howard right here on the screen. Oh yeah. Okay. Now let's see her. Um. Let's see. I'm not sure about her. I don't know. I I, th I think she's uh, Barnum's niece. <laughs> Just give her a job, bro. Just give her a job, dude. <laughs> oh, no. I think she's Frank Howard's husband. Okay. I bet you she is the pretty second to this guy who is a daredevil. <laughs> yeah. He like he's about to go do a water trick. And man, I think those are, I, I think those are Annie's shoes. That's the possibility. <laughs> okay. What do we got over here? What the heck is this? Can I get this any bigger? No, I can't. Dang it. I have no idea what Lalu does. What the heck is a Lalu? Normal something. Is the Hindu with the dead doppelganger? No way. <laughs> that can't be right. He ascends to engage the best of the. Oh, I can't do it. My brain just can't go there. I've had too many years in a row. My German is so fucking horrible. Jay, James Coffey, he looks to be a regular guy uh, with a regular intelligence, but he actually has 19. Uh, something with. Does. Yes, and, and the 29th of 19, sir, I don't know. I can't figure out what the hell he does. <laughs> but his name's James Coffey. Oh, no, this guy. The, oh, no way. He's a plastic man? James Morris is the plastic man. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for staying up and playing with me. So, hey, look, Tommaso over here. Tomato, Tommaso. It looks like he just punctures himself. So if he if he if he uh, gets too far, does he have to catch up? You know, like a punctured <laughs> tomato, catch up. <laughs> and Alfonso, I think Alfonso's eating the little girl from the other side. But there's two little legs coming out. This looks sort of like the girl. Oh, I'll stop. <laughs> what, what is Alfonso doing? Is his hand in his pants while he's doing it? Is that what? I don't know. Oh, gosh. One never knows. <laughs> what do you think is going on here with Tommaso and Alfonso? Tommaso looks like he's taking these very large pins and doing some acupuncture 
And I think that's Accu uh, penetration. I thought that looks like it hurt, or it's an electrical thing, maybe. Oh, I don't know. There's two what look like horseshoe magnets on the front. So Tommaso might be a, a, a hot tomato with a little bit of spark. He's 29 years old. He's looks like he's from the land near Gibraltar, and he has, I don't know. Okay, so Alfonso, give me a feedback on Alfonso. Gosh, oh, that's a hard one. It's like he's blowing blast or something. Oh, but maybe he's a fire guy. Maybe it's a fire. Maybe it's supposed to be a flame coming out of his face. Right. Okay, I'll take that. Yeah. Okay, here. What else we got over here? We've got. <laughs> um, <laughs> we have the magnificent woman. So apparently, she's going to do something with four men in a chair. <laughs> The Fraulein Magnet, I think that's magnificent. So that maybe they're chair. trying out the chair to see how strong the chair is. Maybe she's the leading most charitable person. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens when you, we do five shows in one day. Okay, I got Corn McNeil. And she is the marksman. Uh, and so she's the lucky shooter. Yeah. So, and it, oh, no, no. So she pulls the trigger with the thing in her mouth? It looks that way. Can't just be a great woman shooter. You also got to put something in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, Look, I, I got I got Saul over here, and apparently he is a numbers guy. What is this? This is a uh um that is early Sudoku. Right, that's what it looks like. <clears throat> that's exactly what it is. Do the math. You just boom 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 boom. Help me out. But, but yes, it's early Sudoku. And if that would be sufficiently advanced technology for magic. Okay, now, now I got Belarus here. He looks like he's got some equipment around him that might be electrical. Looks like a early phonograph type device. I don't know. I'm not sure. I. He doesn't look like he's ready to play music. He looks like maybe he does. Maybe he's a gesture kind of guy. I don't know. Oh. I don't know. Okay. Oh, the musicians from Guatemala. These guys are playing, it was called a, a stonophone or a, a stuff. And uh, God, I can't remember the name of it. It's a xylophone, basically. Uh, but this one's two layers. So I bet you these guys were just like, that. this is like uh, uh, the Beatles. Yeah. <laughs> I bet you those were tuned into 528 hertz. I'll bet you that's true. Um, and then we just got Miss Shimakora. I bet you she's going to do something like, throw a hairpin in someone's eye or something. I don't know. She doesn't look like you could, uh, I don't know. She's just a representative of culture. Maybe. What do you think, Brady? Could she be, uh, hmm. I'm trying to see if I see any words that kind of translate to something typical. Uh, well, Belarus is down here. I'm not sure where her part is. No, it's from a different passage. That's not her. Okay, let's go back to the left and see what we find over here. Okay, am I... Am I yeah. Okay, this is Barnum and Bailey. This is an official postcard. And it shows uh, some uh, uh, kinetic guys breaking thing overhead. That still gets done. Here's somebody who does some, this Japanese woman doing some shit with her feet, it looks like. And then you got this woman who's uh, Rapunzel ish. 
you got the short Jew who can do numbers, and uh, a a woman of burlesque. Yeah, this this is kind of she's got to be like a card reader or something. She makes That's true. Right. We forgot about those. Oh man, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> this is a is she in the age of Aquarius video? <laughs> <laughs> Marie Park. I'm telling you, so I bet you she is a generation in from the black royalty that was Tartarian royalty. She's captured. She is the maiden of, so she is a Tartarian. She'd be called a witch. She's empathic. I would almost absolutely be sure. Oh, got you some Siamese twins from Siam. Hunt's Siamese twins. The Luzon and Tunic, so and the Siamese, the twins of Siamese are from the, and their nature of birth. I am with the Siamese twins, and their parent, and that was a product of war. I think that was, that looks like vaccine injury to me. Okay. Oh, you got some small headed people here. You want, you want some small headed people? Ah, uh, wow. Did I come out at all? Yep, I did. Okay, let's go. Let's go look at some small other people. God, God bless whoever did this work. Thank you for these high graphic images. This these people look like uh, I don't know. Why don't, you, why don't you run with that for a second? Give that a shot of brandy. <laughs> well, they look to me like they're kind of cross dressing because they don't look like women. They look like men. With a ponytail and a dress, go figure. So you're Long saying this, you're saying you're saying this is very androgynous. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. It's androgynous without without uh, feminine or masculine primary dominance. That's what it looks like to me. Okay, I think that they're they are a very giving people who are obviously conquered. <laughs> Maybe I don't know. This is in. Uh, Potemkin Passage. So where the one on the right looks like he's giving thanks for something, looks extremely happy. And the one on the left is like, why me? <laughs> yeah, what would you what's this mess you've got me into, Ollie? Yeah. <laughs> well, here they are again. And it, <laughs> look at the look on this guy's face. <laughs> that is, if there, are, this is an 18th century meme. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and, and apparently they had a talk between the last picture and this picture, or this guy is just farted. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, there's. I don't know what's this boy man. This is obviously a. Uh, uh, some sort of, I don't know where the, I, I have to go back and see where these came from. Okay, now, look. <laughs> I got a third one, and, and <laughs> you, you, you got you to save me here. Eddie. I don't <laughs> It looks like uh, someone farted, someone smelled it, and someone denied it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Like the one on the left says, you're heavier than I thought you were. The other one says, I, I thought you was wearing underwear. <laughs> 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 and I really can't tell if these men or these women are they. I don't know. Oh, I got to tell you, that is a face for radio. <laughs> and that's a girl. And I think they, and I think she's attractive in the culture. A very unusual feature. The, there's a is that a mustache on the one on the right? Yes, that is a mustache. So that's a male and a female. Wow. Now these people might need some pronouns. <laughs> Just so I can tell them. <laughs> <laughs> Maximo Bartolo. So these are Aztecs. It's looked like uh, the race Tartarians to me. Now that's that would I'd say it was a woman from her hair. 
and her ends at the top of her blousing, and this guy not having any shirt on. So I'd say this is a man and a woman. Right. Uh, okay, so, okay, let's play the game. <laughs> if we're, we're going to be if we're gonna if we're gonna be slammed for racial profiling, let's at least get it right. Okay, uh, that is definitely a mustachio, and this guy definitely looks like a woman. Why did you drag me here for this shit? And she's saying you when your mother said she wanted the picture. <laughs> 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 so now that you know what you know, male or female, male mustache, male, uh, uh, two small heads. <laughs> Um, I think whoever he picks him up on Friday night, right over here, <laughs> I'm saying. So man. remember that show we did where it had the skulls with the elongated heads? Yeah, that's, so that's, that's uh, what this looks like it could be. This looks like a downline generation. It's also an emulation with the hair on the top extending the head as if it were conical. Very good catch. You better watch out. You're getting good at this. <laughs> So there's a male and a female across a point of power. I think that these people on this, but this is the out. Oh, this is the king and the queen, the original, yes. the original Aztecs, the original Aztecs. Uh, Adolf Friedlander out of Hamburg, uh, he took care of this for us. That was his lithograph, and I, uh, and I'm thinking we're looking at people that might know how to build some Tartarian shit. Mm -hmm. In the temple of the Yucatan, we see some Aztecs who are Maxima, Maximo and Bartola. Okay. So, which one's Maximo and which one's Bartola? Uh, Bartola's on the left. Maximo's on the right. I would think. I don't know. But one they never reverse, they reverse everything, so Maximo would be top, and she certainly looks like she's staring him down, and he's saying, "Look, I have a penis. You have to <laughs> occasionally." I mean, I I don't know. It's possible, <laughs> and you have to remember at that time period, women came first. Well, this is the feminine architecture. Okay, so I, this is very interesting. Well, Fiegel's. Out of Fidel Shostenlum guy here. Uh, this is a picture of the Aztecs from Siegel's uh, pattern or his temple, his lithos. That's a lithographic word down there. It is definitely from a plate. And this looks sort of like the same people, a little older. And it looks like Fiegel's is the guy that finally got him. Or he had this litho done. And this is uh, an this is an acid etched inscribing. But look how the guy is sitting. The right, the guy dressed in the suit. He's sitting with both legs behind him. It, that's not. Oh a my god, that makes that makes my knees hurt looking at it. Yeah, no. <laughs> okay, maybe they're shapeshifters. Because she sure looks like a shapeshifter. Yep. Just saying, we get a better picture of her over here. It looks like, okay, I don't know anybody in my neighborhood that looks like that. Nope, me neither. I, I've been to a lot of neighborhoods all over the Americas. This looks like from the 14th of March. Twentieth. Oh, damn it. I'm going to have to go back. Oh, Michael Jackson disease. Propecia. Yes. Right, this is a Propecia, big pharma. Oh, wait, Bill Gates is going to be here with a vaccine for you in just 100 years. Uh, okay. So, wow. I, I wonder if that was if that's a revered child. Yep. And this is a leopard-skinned Kaffir with his mother. And this is a leopard-skinned Kaffir child. But, yeah, leopard, yep. So this is a leopard skin kaffir. Oh, oh, uh, you know what? There's no ifs, ands, or buts because there's only one but. <laughs> Get it? Buts, if and or buts, plural. It's yeah. The humor you have to explain is just not that great. And it looks like 
I'm thinking there might be different plumbing on the other side here because this guy looks like he's cross-dressing and she looks like she's comfortable. So can you imagine that? Imagine, imagine trying to uh, blossom into your teenage years when your sister is on your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, did you not tell me that your sister and you uh, didn't yep. well, along very well? I'm calling it. This is Rosa and Josepha. I'm thinking that's Joseph. Josepha. <laughs> and that's Rosa. They're the Blazics. <laughs> Just so you know. Hey, I got my friend. No, if you invite Rosa, you cannot invite Josepha. Well, it sort of doesn't work that way. <laughs> you got another one in you? <laughs> oh, we got more Eskimos. Do we already do the Eskimos? No, uh, we did a few at the beginning. Oh, this is new Eskimos. This, yeah, this is looking a little different generation. Look at the ice wall in the back. It's pretty interesting. Okay, this is uh, an Arctic village. It's some Eskimos spelled the, the, the SK way um, among their topex or tents and some snow igloos. Got some snow igloo going on. That's looking pretty good. Is that is that like the Airbnb for the people coming in? You got to stay in a tent if you're the help. And it looks like the tents are almost part of the ice, doesn't it? It does. But if they packed them like an Eskimo, um, that's not packed ice. It's all that up in, unless this is all covered by ice, and that, but it's using a retention property. I don't know. No, we, we we got a bunch of this. Look at this little EV slider over here. We have to do this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, like twenty times. <laughs> okay, I think one picture will lead to the next. Is that a white rabbit? <laughs> I'm not sure. Okay, so this let me talk about why these one by one, side by side. So this is what's called a stereoscopic view. And there was something called a stereoscopic viewer at one of your face, and that this would give you a double vision. So this was a 3D picture when you viewed it. Wow. So what year do you think this came from? Um S C O P I C V I D R on. I, my brain won't do too many things at once. This is a stereoscopic viewer or a stereoscope. This is the device. You see how it looks so steampunk? Mm -hmm. The device. So this right here where it looks like this, that's what this is. Does that make sense? Wow. So one goes on one side, one goes on the other. It's a stereoscopic viewer. The stereoscopic viewer is born in, when did they say it started? It's the first 3D, turns into a view master. <laughs> This is the way it works. And if you master, this is the basis for all digital headsets. Different show. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So uh, that's why there's two side by side. I heard someone asking that question watching it. So uh, this, is, this is from um, uh, the Pikes World Fair. These, so these are exhibition photos. What we got here? We got some of the last of a disappearing race of Eskimos shown at the World's Fair in St. Louis. Uh this is in New York, 725. Oh, there's the phone number for the guy. So you had to get the operator in the middle. It said, give me 727757. So this looks, this looks like a mining operation to me. These are sled dogs, obviously used for transport. If you didn't have access to the lower tunnels. Give me, give me some pure 100% Eskimo, baby. That is an actual egg. That's pretty cool. And this is an Esquama family, spelled the S-Q-U way, uh, and the igloo, an exact reproduction in the size and shape of their snow huts. So, oh, this, I get it. This is the stereoscope viewer that is in front of a replica of the primary piece of the show part in the exhibition. In the theme park, wow. business, in the theme park business, this is called pre-ride. Or pre show, if you can. 1905, uh, CL Watson, he took care of getting this taken care of. Uh, he's got me a dog and his boy. And that is a driver's whip in his hand. That, that kid can't be more than what, eight? 
If and that I, old. That Eskimo boy and his faithful dog in an igloo. The dog gets his own igloo. No, the boy gets an igloo. The dog gets to sleep next to him so the boy doesn't freeze to death. It's called dog heat. Okay. Oh. A picture of groups in the Eskimo village looks like they're gambling to me. Oh, no. They're just sitting there being happy. They're playing. What's we doing with their hands? She's doing something with her hands. So is this guy. Oh, I bet you I bet you they're picking out seeds and stems and rolling a fatty. <laughs> okay. Okay, so <laughs> it's Indian time. Hey, uh, uh dots not feathers, or feathers not dot. Yep. That's a that's a Indian type of tono. What the heck is that? What we got going on right here? Oops. That looks like two cultures mixing. Okay, this is a this is a totem pole. So I'm still oh, wait, read the caption, shithead. The Alaska buildings and totem poles. Yeah. So that's a totem pole. And these look like women of culture, not the savages that we saw most recently. Right. Like these savages. Oh, wait, the women of culture are right behind the savages. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Oh, because it's the World Fair. It's a group. Thank you, Louis. These, these are called Igorots. I G O R R O T E S. Igorots. I need to write write. I need to write that word down. I want to search that through my old archive. See what we come up with. Can you write that down? I G. I G. O R R O T E S. Okay. Um. Okay, so the Igorots here, they're in the 51 for 50, they're in exhibition 51 at the World's Fair 1904. St. Louis. Your favorite rivers by there, isn't it? Okay, this is a village in the Philippine section. Okay, this is a picture of the Philippines. Yeah. You got some dancing ignorance here. Get your dancing ignorance. I wonder, wow. if that, I wonder if that's where the genealogy of ignorant comes from. Just because they don't know the language. This is uh, some Vissian houses. Got those Vissians. Get you some Vissians. Got your Vissians. I bet you these are Vissians. Oh, these are Bogobo maidens. All right, from a fellow team, 1904. It's a print. So this is color photography. Not the greatest granularity set, but this looks a lot like, no, they're in a dancing ceremony of some sort. Um, Got a bunch of people up here. Look like uh, trafficking humans. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> some busy, busy natives in a Philippine village. I've become too jaded. Oh, get your get your. Here's the dressed up ones. Here's the mothers praying for their children. This is native cloth. Oh no, they're knitting. They're quilting. Is your quilting? Oh, knee? they're making baskets, aren't they? Oh, no, they're not making baskets. They're making clothes. Look at this ribbon next to her. She's making oh, a. Yeah. She's making a sacred sash of some sort. Oh, yeah. Bogobo women in the Philippine village. Yeah, just women. They're just women. They don't ever do anything. Uh, here's, <laughs> <laughs> here's a uh, uh, get your. I wonder. I wonder if you can buy a piece of furniture with their name on it. A missing children's sign. Um, this looks to be a family, and there's some fence behind them. I don't know if that's a retaining. Keep in or keep out. So in the Bogobo Philippine tribe. In the village, it looks like they have some line of demarcation. These people don't. Oh, yeah, they do. Look, there's a huge wall around it. Is that to keep shit in or out? Wow. So, these are the stalwart basutos. They're stalwart. So that means they're hard to get their asses kicked. There's a lion leopard skin right there. If you can kill a leopard, you're a badass. And yeah, they're extraordinary home. What is this? That's a horn. That's an antler set. Man, that thing looks hard to kill, doesn't it? Um, <laughs> That's yeah. Longer those. 
Yeah. Can I can I have that guy as my friend and not my enemy? Uh this is an interesting group of people. What do you think's going on here? Hmm. Children of every nation represented at the fair. Oh, here's all the kids you can buy. Is that a school picture? Oh, it's just every kid represented at the fair. Why do you bring maybe this is the leader's kids? I don't know. I'm I'm too pessimistic anyway. Okay, go on to the next one. This is this the only one I have here? I think I only have one here. Yeah. This is obviously a cropper's whip of some sort. That's a, a our driver's whip. And she looks just pretty freaking amazing, doesn't she? She, doesn't she look, looks like a firefighter. She looks like she doesn't have a care. I mean, even the attire. Look at she's like, my life is so good. It should be on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> if it existed yet. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, she'd get a billion hits. She'd just open her mouth and people would listen to her damn show. <laughs> Okay. That's so true. Here we got another version. Look at this. This is. Oh, where's my description? This is a, a an Eskimo. She looks like she could work at the McDonald's in Orlando. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, look at it. There's no regressive bone structure. I'm not stuck back in a previous age. I mean, that is. It, it gives you it gives you a little thought to the the depth of our entire genetic pool because these people sure look different. These look like Khans, K-H-A-N, as in Genghis in the Red Horde tribe which was, of course, Tartaria. Oh, wait. Right. Oh, but wait, there's more. So, it looks like I have the Khans and the chicks that might work at McDonald's. These are all part of the same set. This does not look like a people. I got a bunch of reindeers. Which one's Rudolph? But notice the hats. It's sort of interesting. The pointed. Um, you know where you see those shape of hats? Yes, sir. Oh, hats. Those, all look, those all look like versions of hats you see on papacy. Don't they? The big right. hat looks like a project. Yes, yeah. You know what I mean? All the people in the Vatican. Look at the guys with the like a, a, a floppy... French fry hat, and then you right. got the guys with the sort of the topper hat. Those are those are a deacon or a leader, and then you've got the people in the monkish looking stuff. Rudolph might have had something. Who knows? Looks like one deer, one reindeer is over here getting led into slaughter, and the other one's over here saying, "Am I next year? You're going to give me some of that to eat." <laughs> <laughs> this is a. Zoologist, it's from the Zoologist Museum in Berlin. Uh, once again, my German sucks ass. Okay, I thought I had more here. But this is an interesting look. These look like migratory Tartarians, don't they? Yeah, they do. And this is from 1879. Okay, that's almost an hour. You're getting yelled at for being up too late. Yeah. <laughs> Um, one works and, when one is called to work. <laughs> I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Well, well, uh, let's attack it again tomorrow. I think we've had an interesting run. I, I, there are so there's there's a lot. This was a nice find earlier today. You know, this is my favorite thing to do. <laughs> yes. Thank you. I appreciate you. Um, let's uh, so. Put a couple of things in the chat there. Can you write that in the notebook? There's that one keyword I want to go search. I actually have it uh, saved as a picture. Good, perfect. And I'm going to send it to you in a chat. Yeah, I mean, look, I, yeah, I put it in the chat. So I, if not, I can always go back and watch it if I can just bear listening to myself. Okay, um, I will, uh, let, 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 let's call it a cut here. I will. Catch with you tomorrow. I'm going to yell. Assassin's going to yell at me for my voice. And I'm scratch, too scratchy because I've done five shows today. Oh. <laughs> Sassy from the 1700s. Look how I love her. Yeah. <laughs> well, 
Well, if no one's told you today, I appreciate you and you do fantastic work. And anyone who is in the sound of our voice, I hope that you will tell yourself in the mirror with your very powerful mouth that you're a little bit better today than you were yesterday. And every day that ends in Y has the potential to be a fantastic day. Absolutely awesome on purpose. Say goodnight, Gandy. Good night, Gracie.